a lily. It's good to see you. Factory. Smallpox. Swamp. It is a combo, isn't it? And a thespian stage. All right, cool. So we know what we're up against. Um, I kind of like setting up for the Entomb, and if we don't get there next turn, I just hand hate him twice. Seems fine. I probably should just play the Underground Sea. Probably. He did not top deck a hand hate spell. That's good news for us. Good news for the home team. I don't like my sequencing, what I just did there, for several reasons. Mostly because I just used up most of my shuffle effects all in one go. Alright, let's pluck it off the top. So he drew a second Thespian's stage. And there's the Vengeance, cool. Just how we drew it up. Now we're going to have to go off exclusively on only 15 life. I have to hit some number of Chrome Moxin. Okay, there's the children. Hold up. Let's draw another 7. Nice! Lotus Petal. Boom. Got there. Alright, so we're going to go for a Storm Kill. So let's just go ahead and attack. Put him to 13. Now you only have to get to 7 Storm. When you put your opponent to 13, you only need to get to 7 Storm. So that's actually something that people don't really think about enough when playing fins, and I think that I think that you should think about. Um, actually, what's my storm count? Let's look at the tendrils. It's at three, four, five. Not quite enough. Actually, no, technically that's enough, but I, I like showing off the children loop, and odds are if we're going to draw another 21 cards... Odds are I'm going to hit um, another mana source. We're, we're pretty, it's a pretty, it's pretty likely that you hit. Um, yeah, there's a Chromox. There's another Lotus Petal. So, we're pretty set to go off. Kill the children! Alright. Now, his deck is a Wasteland deck. Um, he's gonna run Smallpox probably regardless of how I board. Twitch didn't say I was live. I was live. I am live. What's up, Full Metal? Okay, do we change plans? Does he have things like Leyline? Does he have Surgical? Do you want to do a complete transformation? That's another option. A complete transformation. Regardless, I think I like cutting one Grizz. So we saw Pox. We saw Liliana Smallpox. Um, I'm assuming there's Wastelands. Doesn't mean you can't Shell Dock. You just have to do this. You have to run the Needle. I still really like the Shell Dock kill. Um, it's a really small package. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really tight package. So if we can make a little bit of room, I can stick that in there. Um, probably cut something. How, how good is Chromebox in this matchup? It's probably not that good. Also, I think his hand hate is superior to mine. Um, well, not superior, but he's on the play, therefore it makes it much better. Um, yeah, hand hate on the play is much better. Like in this matchup, I don't know how I feel about using defensive hand hate. What do we look? I mean, like, how do we look if I just cut all of it? Could I like bring in the storm kill as well? No. It's not enough. I could bring in the Dark Confidant package. We could try this on for size. I do need to get this tested. Now, the idea was to bring this in the same time I bring in the Storm package. Um, which would mean Ideas Unbound, Lines Ire 2, and the top. 
So like the full storm package looks like about eight pieces. But that would mean cutting on the reanimator package, which I think is still good. Uh, let's just let's try the bobs on for size. Let's give these guys a shot. Pox runs sinkholes. Yes, they do, Ghost Dad. So I mean, the Doomsday Shelllock is is risky, no matter how you spin it. No matter how I spin it, it's risky, especially since he's on the play. Um, so we shall see. We shall see. We've got a lot of different things I'm testing in uh, version, this version of, of Doomfins. This is Doomfins 1.2. It's doing a lot of cool things. I'm not sure which of the things are going to stay. But as long as we're able to borrow Doomsday, I want to test the crap out of this. And, um, yeah, just... Have a ball. Oh no, we're gonna do some uh, events with this too, Cellular. I was doing a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Like for example, this hand is gross if it had a couple different things. Um, if it had uh, a land, I would definitely consider keeping it. I'm still considering keeping it, but I think I'm gonna ship it. He did keep a seven. So we're going to mulligan. Uh, this hand's tempting too. But this hand is very easily stripped when it comes to hand hate. And take a five. Okay, this hand's pretty resilient, but it has to see a land off the top. But it's got two Gorios and one Shallow. It's got a Ponder, which is likely what he takes. Like, if you were if you were on his side and you hand hate, you play a, hand, a discard spell, what would you take? The Shallow Grave? The Ponder? Probably the Ponder. You liked that seven full metal? I don't know. I think it's only going to get worse from here. This one could at least top deck well. We're also scrying. Okay. I don't think you can you can not take the pedal. Considering I kept a no lander. Now, if he goes thought sees into therapy, yeah, you know wasn't meant to be. Guys, that's how we beat Wasteland. We don't play any lands. <laughs> that seven was cake. Eh. It was also no lander full metal with no scry, with no opponents on the play. He could strip the probe actually, which would be tempting because it looks it would it would that hand would look as though I kept it due to the Cataxian probe. Um, so if I was in his shoes, I would consider stripping the probe. I mean, he has to, he has to, if he kept a 7, that means it's turn 1 something. Turn 1, Thought Seize, Duress, Inquisition, something. If you're playing Pox, you had to keep, and you're playing something like Fins, and I did, what, turn 1 him, turn 2 him? He has to have kept a hand like that. It did have a pedal, yeah. It did have a pedal. I'm, I'm not saying it was a bad 7. I considered it for a moment. I considered it. Let's look, take a look at the list while the guy's making choices. Decisions. Decisions. I've been pretty impressed with this deck as of late. Power level, it feels like it's gone back to where it was when I was playing it back in the day, paper. Just it just feels it feels strong again. The deck. And I just need to learn the do learn to do more things with the Doom side, Doomsday side of it, which is also exciting. Doing more things with the Doom side, Doomsday side of the deck than I've I've ever done. Uh, when I dabbled, not dabbled, when I played Fins competitively, um, I rarely considered Tendril's Piles for the Doom Day, Doomsday. I considered, usually it was just um, kind of, it filled a similar role to the alternative of uh, Show and Tell, which was a lot of what Tin Fins players at the time were doing, but I, I honestly, at first it was a budget choice, but then I realized it was better. Because you could run fewer... The versions that were running show and tell, they'd have to run more Grizzle Brand than I had to run. They'd have to run like three or four Grizzles. 
to, to pull off to get the A plus B, whereas Doomsday is all encompassing, all it's all on its own. It doesn't need it also plays really well with Dark Ritual. If you Dark Ritual, you can't cast Show and Tell. I already made one, dude. I already made one. I don't think I'm interested in playing anything outside of Noin Ascendancy with Monastery Mentors and Lumbering Falls. This this deck speaks to me. I already played it today, Full Metal. You missed it, man. And we made some changes to it. I'm going to buy these cards before next stream, probably refocus. And somebody wanted me to try a Tigum Strike. I don't know if that's going to stick. Gonna go test against somebody else. That's too bad. If I gave you a sweet list, I really don't like standard though, man. I'm sorry to break your heart, Full Metal. Also, I don't like being given things. I don't be. I don't like being given lists. I kind of like to find my own way. It's kind of one of the not selling points of the stream. It's just. It's just how I play Magic. I don't like being given things. I. I don't like using other people's lists. Period. So, if I can't really say it's my deck or my interpretation of something, I wouldn't want to play it. So, but I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. It's not that I don't appreciate your guys' help. That's not that's not really what I'm trying to say. But what I am saying is is I, I want the deck to feel like I, I built it or did something with it. I don't like just picking up a list. Um, period. Now oh, shut up. <laughs> don't be too hard on yourself, man. I'll look at the list, though, and I'll tell you, man, that looks sweet if I like le uh, standard. I'm always happy to look at lists. I'm always happy to look at a list full metal, but um, if you're trying to, like, give me a deck to play, it's kind of different. So we're just looking for an opponent. I mean, this deck's cool. We killed a bunch of people with it today, uh, earlier today when I streamed earlier. Um, don't worry about it. Okay. What's funny, though, is uh, I never thought about refocusing the deck, and I think this is a premier cantrip in at least standard Ascendancy. Not, it's not good enough for modern Ascendancy. There's many different things that are much better, like the Cerulean Wisps is in every way, shape, or form better than that. Oh, Cellular, you want to watch me play Pod? We can play Pod instead if, if we can't get a match with Finns. You want me to play some Birthing Pod? I can play some Pod. If you're a fan of Pod, you're going to love this. So this is a deck you're not going to see anywhere else. This is uh, kind of our thing. Now, we built it a couple different ways. We built it blue. This is the blue version. What's funny though is I don't necessarily feel that this version's better than the uh, the mud like uh, Forge Master mud style anymore. I'm not convinced that this is this is better. And so we've also built a budget uh, non Force of Will version. I'm going to show you that in a moment. My friend is building our list of paper. That's awesome. Which which one did he go with? Did he go with the blue version? Like tell him. Tell him I'm sorry, because I'm not sure if the blue version's better or worse. That's kind of the thing about testing a deck. So, if, if he's trying to get into Force of Wills just for Robopod, you can apologize to him for me. Because I'm not convinced that this version's better than the one we took to the daily the other day. I took just a green, black version of it, uh, and we didn't have color issues. Let me show you that real quick. This is where we were a few weeks ago. This is where I left off. So, this is the... Uh, Tesserator version.